No, I don't want you in here. You get you all hairy all over the place. Why is your jacket like that? Good boy, this is Champy. This is Champ. Champ is the dude. And we're back. I'm gonna grab the paper machine here. Simple paint tree machine. Everybody calls them different things. Um, so, all we really gotta do here is, I'm just gonna put a piece of paper, 18 inch paper here, a piece of paper there, and a piece of paper on the bottom. And pretty much just tape the plastic down to everything else. So we'll do this. See the machine puts right on the freaking right on the paper right off the bat. Makes it easy, peasy. I mean, if you're doing this at home, pretty much use anything. Um, automotive paper. This this is the cheapest stuff you can buy here, pretty much. But. This stuff has like a wax coating so nothing leaks through. I mean, you can, I've done it. I mean, you can use back in, when I was a young man taping cars up using newspaper, make sure if you're gonna use newspaper and be that cheap, use multiple, multiple layers because that stuff sucks up the, the paint and it'll stick to everything that was taped up. Plastic sheathing, there's all different kinds of brands of it. Cheap brands, good brands, doesn't really matter. What the heck is going on here? All right. So this stuff has a has cling to it. And there's a side you pull. There's sides, see how this side's paint this side. You wanna put the side that paints this side so it reads proper. That's the side you put down. And do this, real easy peasy. It's always easier with two people. But, kinda like almost lunch break, so people are kinda meandering and stuff. It is the easy one, I'll just do it myself. <clears throat> Me, I'm gonna do this, cause I'm gonna tape it to the, straight tape it back to the back here. You gotta get your razor blades. You no, know, I just wanna pull a little extra. So I'm gonna have a razor blade in my mouth, so it's probably gonna be kind of extra put in my ear. See it says paint this side. You always want to have it on the side that says paint this side. So it folds out that way. So what you do is you fold this. Pretty much do it on both sides, fold it out. Should have got this over a little bit more. I could have walked around, but I didn't pull it in. But sorry. Right. Guns gonna be going across. We're gonna be, hoses are gonna be going across the back, anyways. And then there's actually you see the split right in the middle. It's probably I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you go like that. Pull it out from under. And pour down. See the front is gonna be. This. I'm gonna get the front done. Like I said, we're gonna go behind this door because we're gonna be putting its own plastic on the door here. So we'll get open this up, turn it down. Me, I'm gonna 
go. Cut us flying straight down. Cutting this bitch out. Throw this back in here. Take this, go like this. Back to the tape. All right. Bam. Watch what I'm doing here. Oh. Bam. Same thing here. just to tighten stuff up. Less stuff flapping around. So then I take... Makes it really easy. 
tape this split up here so it doesn't come apart. Now it's all covered. Don't really have to worry about the back side. Paint doesn't won't roll around the back side to stick to it. Plus that back side door is a little dusty, so nothing's gonna stick to it. So do it one more time on this. and grease fellers use pump sprayers here because they last a lot lot they last a lot longer if you try to put in a regular spray bottle to pump them, those things go out. Because after all, this stuff is a chemical. Windex are fine with a pump bottle. Well. Now with Windex, or with waxy grease, you want to spray it on the rag. You don't want to spray it directly on the panel. Um, there's a little goober right there, but like I said, this one's cheap. Kind of contrary to, contradictory to what I said earlier. He didn't care about it, so we didn't care about it. Little goober up there that probably should have fixed, but we don't want to get a crap ton of paint up there, so we didn't fix it. Fix it. So you're doing the the Miyagi on this. You're wet, putting it on and you're wiping it off. It's wax and grease. It does exactly what it said. What the what the name of it is? It takes off wax and grease. So the thing with this stuff, is people leave the residue sit on it. That is a no no. You have to get it off as dry as possible. So. When you're waping everything off, you go over it once with this, with a dry rag. Always gotta go over everything with a dry rag. Take a little air gun here. You don't need a lot of PSI. First off, your PSI and your boots shouldn't be high anyways, because it's got you don't want to overpower your paint gun, so. This had a fire repair on it. I could tell just by feeling it that the paintwork in here was a little rougher than the rest. You know it's stuff and stuff. All right, on the next side. Never use the same side. You got four, pretty much you got four different sides when you fold your thing over. When you fold it over. Wax and grease is pretty much what you want to be using for this. I mean, there is certain, if you're in a pinch, you can use reducer. Um, I've seen people use thinner, but I don't suggest it. None of these paints are, unless you're doing an old lacquer paint job, all this stuff is not lacquer. What we use lacquer for nowadays is pretty much just wash lacquer. Clean out your guns, clean stuff of res residue and stuff off of panels and stuff like that. Not to be used to prep before paint or reduce anything with it. Just 
why it's on the cans nowadays when you buy it. It's called wash thinner. See the residue, the wax and grease evaporating. That's how you do that. Now we're mixing, we're doing paint. Hope you guys are enjoying the footage here, Robinson's Auto Refinishing. Appreciate all the, you know, looks, all the comments, the dedication to the channel. Appreciate my guys. They're not only colleagues, they're friends, they're family. If you guys like what you're seeing, please subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll just keep trying to bring you stuff as I go. I mean, it's not really hard. I'm here all day anyways. So, I'm just trying to give you guys a glimpse of what we do here. I'm giving this YouTube shit a try. If you like what you see, help me out. Let's get this done. Thank you.